Hey everyone, it's Gracie Sims here. Welcome to another quick build video. So today I built a house and I decided that I was going to style the front based on a film called Father of the Bride. If you haven't seen it then I suggest you do because it's a really good film, it's a great comedy and it's a lovely house that they that they that they shoot in. So yep and so I just basically modelled the front bit of the house on this. Um, other than that, it's basically completely different. Um, so yeah, I'm adding stairs at the moment. And throughout the house, I decided to go for white stairs with black railings. Because I really like that. I just I just like it. And I think it, looks, it makes the house look really classy. And I've used them consistently throughout the house, but obviously not the inside. So yeah, I've added a lot of windows to this house. Um, you, you know, I've, it's got a nice, a lot of patio, which is nice because I like using a lot of patio in my houses. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, so yeah, um, but I love the side, but I love that there's a side door that makes it feel like, you know, real sort of American home type thing, which is nice. But <laughs> the only problem with this house is that it did actually turn out to be a lot smaller than I expected it to be. It looks quite large right now, but when I actually build the inside, it's... It turns out to be a lot smaller than I thought, which is really annoying because it meant that I actually, it was really hard to fit everything in. And when I was taking the photos for the end, which you'll see at the end, um, they, you know, it was really hard to take the photos, you know, to fit in all of the stuff in, that was in one room into, into the room, into the photo. Um, as you can see here, I'm, I'm leveling the terrain, just lowering it actually. And, um, I thought it was a nice idea. I got this idea from, um, well, my own, own imagination. I don't think I got it from from anywhere. But um, yeah, I thought it'd be nice if it just kind of if it if it got, if it lowered a bit uh, as it went round the back of the house. And so yeah, that's nice. And as you can see, I've added some more stairs, and um, they're you know they're they're white and black again, consistent with the front ones. I've used blue doors and blue roofs on this house because I thought it went really nicely with the white with the white walls and stuff like that and yeah I mean I'm building a lot of sims houses lately because my lovely boyfriend and all of my lovely lovely friends are actually still at uni whereas I've actually finished my first year um, I actually finished a lot quicker you know a lot earlier than they did because my exams were were really soon they were all last week so I've had lots and lots of time on my hands for my lovely subscribers um, so yeah, and currently I'm just adding a pool in. Now a lot of my pools are actually linked to my pa linked to the patio, which I just I just think it looks so nice when when that ha when when that when that's in the house. So, um, but yeah, this time you know I've added columns and I add some a bit of a waterfall a bit later on, and I add some seating at the bottom of the pool, which was an idea I took from another video. So yeah, um added some some railings to get in. And here I'm I'm going to add some flowers. I've added some some raised patio, you know, just to give it a bit of extra height, which I think I think looks quite nice and um you know, for the flowers to go in. It's really nice around the pool. I mean, it would be quite quite annoying, I guess, in real life if if it was summer and you were swimming and there was a bee or something around the flowers and you're in the pool and you're like, "Ah." But hey, I thought it looked nice for Sims anyway. Mm. So yeah, I'm just adding some flowers. Now, I really want to get good at, at curved pools, um, but I'm not very good at them at the moment. So I'm going to try really hard to to learn how to do curved pools better. I'll just have to have have like a pool sesh where I just literally try and <laughs> try and blow my mind with the the amount of stuff you can do with pool just pools on Sims 3. So yeah hopefully I can create some cool stuff like um a guitar shaped pool heart shaped pool, and um you know all fitted for different kinds of houses so yeah I really like adding a lot of um plants and rocks and and trees and stuff around around my houses because I just think it really makes the house it really really adds to it so you'll see that I will be putting a lot of flowers around and you know just dotted around and um in a in a bit I'm going to add a garage to the to the left hand side to this hand side of the house you know I thought that looks nice as well as you can see so where I've put the 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 mud around the house that's where the the, the flowers are going to go in a second 
yeah, I'm just adding them, adding them now. I mean, I think, I just think it looks really nice when you have loads of flowers in the house. I think it just completes the house, personally. Especially, you know, from the front. And Plus, it's nice, you know, if you want to, if you would have a real house like this, you'd want there to be flowers, you'd want, there, want it to be nice. Now this this is funny because I've, as you can see I've started to put to put flowers around um, you know the concrete bit and originally for this house I decided oh no I'll try and make them um, you know less you must go here you must go here you must stay here um, and kind of put the plants a bit more randomly you know I thought that might be quite just quite different rather than be so you know in place all the time. But um, as you can see, I'm building the garage now. There's enough. It's, it's two, so there's enough for two houses. But then in the garage is actually just one room, so it's nice. So you can fit both cars into one room. And I'm just putting a fence around the house, which I think just just makes it look nice. It just kind of corners it off a bit, especially if the house had you know young children living in it. It would be it would be ideal. They can't just go running off. So yeah, um, you can see I'm adding a lot of flowers. I'm not sure you you be the judge if you like that you like it if you do then leave comments below and if you don't if you have better suggestions leave leave in the comments below I am happy to to build anything you guys want me to and try out new ideas and stuff like that so this pond I've added uh, has more kind of fountains waterfall bits and um, lots of rocks I don't like just putting a pool in I like there to be some some flowers um, flowers around it and rocks around it and stuff so yep got some more rocks there with the mud and yep that that bit I'm building at the moment that's probably the most um, naturalistic flower setting that I've <laughs> that I've done for this house but I will try better on another house so yeah um so I'm currently just adding you know more flowers and now I'm going to do the side of the house where I've just added a couple of seats and a, and a little table which I think looks quite nice moving inside um now with with my houses i like using a lot of wood flooring i'm i'm not a big fan of carpet um well i like carpet in but the colors just aren't right in the sims 3 you know i i prefer to use wood and i th i think it just goes much much nicer with all the furniture in the house um so yeah and as you can see i'm adding a piano at the moment now this house kind of felt like it needed a piano. Um, I'm not sure if you think the same thing, but I did. And there was nowhere else for it to go, really. So this is this is where it had to go. And I just I think it looks all right, I guess. But hey, you be the judge. If you like it, you like it. And if you don't, then you don't. So yeah, got a little laptop there. Yeah, I know my boyfriend would have wanted a much larger area for his laptop, but I oh will. He'll have to live with it. I did a, spent quite a long time picking an, picking the right fireplace for for the for the dining room. But there's um, a lot of chairs, you know, nice big family. It's quite nice to sit around. You've got the music player there as well. Um, yeah, just doing the front of the house right now. And the problem is because I use wood a lot, I like using a lot of rugs and stuff like that. So, but the only problem is that there aren't a lot of you know different colours for that either which is very annoying so I end up spending quite a lot of time trying to pick up the right coloured rug um, so now this is going to be the lounge and um, you can see it's very small and the whole house I really genuine I promise I tried to make it I, I, I'd imagined it bigger than it than I'd planned it out to be unfortunate, unfortunately so um, but I think it still looks nice it's just a little bit little bit on the small side So yeah, but I mean, everything kind of fits, you know, the house has everything it needs. So I think it's alright. So this is going to be the kitchen. And I've used an idea here where I've added um, sofas to kind of the back of the cabinets of the kitchen. And I've got this, I got this from um, an idea of uh, Google Images. And I thought it was a really good idea. And you know, you come, kind of get that in restaurants sometimes, where you kind of sit in these booths. I kind of wanted to make it like like that. And um, it's just nice to have breakfast out, you know, or if you've got like your friends around or something, you could you'd be able to sit there and just chill. Got the fridge nearby, which is always a good thing. <laughs> so now I'm moving on to upstairs. Um, I think I used quite a lot of carpet in this one actually. Um, so yeah, but I, I do take quite a long time trying to trying to pick the right colours. I'll try to get better at doing that faster, I guess. 
Um, so it's got four bedrooms, and most of the bedrooms are actually the same size in this house. I do that quite a lot, but I don't mean to. It's just it's just the way it turns out, really. And um, but yeah, the house I'm building at the moment, I guess, is probably the master suite. I think it's the nicest because it has a balcony, which I'll uh, make in a moment. And two of the bedrooms have ensuite bathrooms, and they're really nice bathrooms. But one thing I did realise after I'd built the house was that actually the, there isn't a family bathroom. It's just a toilet upstairs and a toilet downstairs, which is kind of silly of me. But they'll just have to live because I'm way too lazy to go back and change it now. So yeah, there's a nice bathroom here. Um, Yep. So yeah, moving on to the second bedroom, just the bathroom of the second bedroom at the moment. I really like this bed actually. The colours of the wood and the colour of the duvet was actually really nice. I liked it. So this would probably be, you know, one of the kids' rooms or something, but um, more like teenagery room or even a spare room. But I think this room fits the spare room, fits the spare room um, type of room better because it's it's got a lot of windows in and you know it looks out onto the front of the house and I just think that's really nice. Now this is the kids' room. Now I put a cot in the kids' room because. I thought, I, I don't know why you would put a cot in a separate room anyway. I mean, what's the point? It's it's a tiny thing. There's nothing else to really go in there. So I just added one to, you know, the, the, the child's room. Um, so I thought that looked really nice, actually, in the end. And I've just built the patio, and now I'm just doing the toilet, which is upstairs. Which I, sh I really should have added a bath to there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. So I'll um, leave you and let you enjoy the photos. I hope they're okay. Um, yeah, anyway, subscribe for more. So, thanks for watching. Bye.